Happy to see you here on my channel and today we have the trickiest challenge you've ever seen. A lot of students may be saying, okay, mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen. 40 minus 30 divided by 2 minus 1. So the easiest challenge, subtraction, division, subtraction, everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, three option A, B and C, and let's check our answers here in just 30 seconds. It will be really interesting. We can also check our school knowledge or whatever, okay? So right here, our option, right here, our challenge, and I want to start with this first interpretation. So a lot of students will this question like that we have 40 minus 30 divided by 2 and minus 1 so here's our challenge a lot of students say okay from left to right i don't care about order of operations so 40 minus 30 equal to 10 we still have 10 divided by 2 and minus 1 so right here we have 10 divided by 2 equal to 5 and 5 minus 1 from here equal to equal to 4. So a lot of students say the correct answer is B. They say that this is absolutely the correct solution and a correct answer. But I want you to understand that in math, in terms of math, it's really a bad thing to solve challenges randomly, to solve these challenges wherever we want, because it's really a bad thing. It's not works only in math like that. For example, biology, chemistry, you should know what is the correct property, correct rule, correct definition. Yeah, and you should know what is the correct approach to do, to do the thing in whatever we have, like science. Yeah, so right here, the the same thing in terms of math we should know what is the correct order of operation exactly in this challenge because right here we can't solve our challenges randomly we can't solve our challenges wherever we want so it's really great thing to solve this challenge according to order of operation okay according to a correct order of operation and not according to like our head how can we want to solve it we do this okay so 40 minus 30 divided by 2 and minus 1. let's look for example at this pandas order of operation this is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator, sophisticated calculator works according to this PEMDAS order of operation. And for example, right here we have mm, a lot of steps and it works like that. Higher pr priority has parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step addition and subtraction group. So right here let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge. We have subtraction, division, subtraction. So let's look at it. Where do we have subtraction right here we have subtraction right here we have division yeah and we don't have any addition sign multiplication sign exponents parentheses okay so great right now let's scan what uh, what elements do we have exactly right here because we have division right here subtraction subtraction as i told before higher position higher priority so division has the higher position than subtraction so it, it implies that division is our first step division is our first step in this challenge so division we have right here so we should divide 30 divided by 2 which is equal to 15 yeah so 40 minus 30 divided by 2 equal to 15 and minus minus one right now pretty basic we don't have like a complicated expression we have only only subtraction subtraction okay so division right here we complete it exactly yeah and right here we have subtraction we can easily do that because this is very basic this is 24 of course you right here you do need this order of operation because this is pretty basic pretty basic subtraction and right now really important moment because a lot of students confused we don't have this 24 right here and how it works how, how can we solve this correctly how can we choose the correct option and then it happens sometimes that a lot of students go back to this wrong answer for which is absolutely wrong answer because as i told before subtraction division subtraction this is the the the, the worst order I've ever seen because subtraction, division, subtraction, uh, this is very bad thing in terms of math. We, we should solve this question with division sign at first and then subtraction as our second step because all the time division is before subtraction. So you, do, you should do all the thing with subtraction and then you can easily... You, sh you should do all the thing with division, yeah, and then you can easily subtract all the rest. What do you have right here? Okay, this is a great solution, but with parentheses, okay? And then subtraction has the highest, higher priority than division because subtraction is inside parentheses, which is our first step. So this is a great solution with parentheses right here. Without parentheses, forget about this option B. This is very bad solution. This is a great solution, but what about option A, B, but C for factorial? Let's remember or let's, let's understand how can we find this for factorial. So we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which is obviously equal to... To 24. So this is absolutely the same as 24. This is like a trick in this challenge. So our correct answer is option C. Why option C? Because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. This is a randomly method, but it takes place with parentheses. So if you have parentheses right here, you can also solve this challenge like that. Which, which, which is really great. So I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content, so I hope you will enjoy it. So thank you for your time. See you in the next videos and have a great day.